Lagos is notorious for its traffic jams, but Fumni Lori won't let that get to her. She's on a mission to bring books to neighborhoods across the sprawling city. As she arrives at her fast stop, she lets the children know to come out and read. It's been fantastic. It's new in the community. It's the first of its kind, and a lot of parents welcome it. The children are very enthusiastic. They're very happy. You find out that the children just want to read. Usually we give them one book to read every week, but you find out that some children are even asking for more. As a teacher 11 years ago, she noticed the huge lack of a reading culture in Nigeria and decided to do something about it. At first, she carried books from door to door in a basket. With her new wheels though, she brings books to over 417 children. I've never gone to a library before and I'm happy that a library drives into my estate so I can pick books to read. It's very pathetic that we don't have functional libraries. You know, when you watch movies, you see people go to libraries, it's a massive structure. And you see the librarian sitting up there, you go to her, you ask any information and she's, she's, willing, she's willing to give it to you. And you know, it makes the place a welcoming abode for you. For areas where her track cannot gain easy access, Ilori uses a smaller mobile library. It's a dream come true, even though it's just a starting dream. The dream is to build the largest library in Africa using the mobile system. Ilori says she is yet to record any significant profit. But money was clearly never the reason she started this initiative. It was a passion for education. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the man. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.